Okay. So the question is, is it okay for a pregnant woman employee to request or ask from the company to defer the payment of her maternity leave pay? Okay, so actually this is not a uncommon thing or I've encountered uh, this situation in some cases. Um, take note, the context here is, it's not the company, it's not the management, it's not the HR uh, uh, taking this action or making this action. Rather, it's the other side. It is actually the employee, the pregnant woman employee, who is the one requesting that her maternity leave uh, pay the cash equivalent be deferred in paying to her perhaps or most of the time uh, that woman employee would want that amount be paid when she comes back or sometimes via installment payment there are many practical reasons for this some woman employees uh, are not confident that they might be able to manage the uh, amount particularly if they are, uh, how to say this, uh, not confident with their budgeting or they want to be assured that after the pregnancy, um, that particular maternity leave pay would be the source for paying their hospital bills, expenses, medicines, and the like, or to create a small fund to be able to shoulder all of the uh, new baby related expenses from uh, how to say this, um, the essentials for taking care of a baby, the milk, food, uh, and the like, okay? So this is an interesting situation because there is no specific law on the matter. There is no labor law no dollar regulation, uh, no guidance from SSS or uh, how to say this? Yeah, primarily from SSS because SSS is the one uh, reimbursing the employer. So um, I'll be answering this uh, more on based on principles. Okay. So take note that the maternity leave, maternity leave law particularly in the private sector, it is designed in such a way to give financial assistance to pregnant women employees. That's why uh, the current maternity leave law, the 105-day maternity leave law, uh, with, um, how to say this, um, grounds for extension, uh, allows the pregnant woman employee to be paid uh, during the uh, her absence in relation to her uh, pregnancy. At times, or actually under the law and under the prevailing regulations, it has to be paid, uh, how to say this, uh, uh, out, outright or uh, after processing or after the completing the requirements uh, for the application thereof with his with her respective uh, employer. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's within 30 days or uh, within a reasonable period of time from the time that all of the requirements are completely submitted to the employer. So once those requirements are met, the law uh, states that the employer should pay the corresponding uh, uh, leaves or days of uh, that are being applied by the woman employee. Presumably, almost almost most of the time, the progress woman employee maximizes it out. So in our case, let's say 105 days. Uh, so the employer has to shell out that amount and pay it in advance to the empl uh, concerned employee, subject to being reimbursed by the social security system, SSS, uh, after submitting the necessary requirements as well. 
that's why companies are at times very strict when it comes to applications for maternity leave with respect to their pregnant women employees because the requirements that have to be submitted by the pregnant women employees are also uh, the supporting documents for the application for reimbursement by the employer from the SSS. So if the requirements are not complete, the employer will not be able to uh, process the reimbursement. And it can be a uh, huge expense, particularly if the company or business is just a small business. So what if, going back to our question at hand, what if it is the pregnant woman employee who asks that uh, the amount uh, uh, do not be paid yet, rather be paid after she comes back or via installments after she comes back? Um, it is the advisable on the part of the employer to do that. I understand that there's a reason behind the request by the employee. Still, notwithstanding the request, it is not advisable for the employer to do it because the law expressly uh, mandates, directs, obligates, instructs the employer to pay it out. Uh, the moment the pregnant woman employee completes all the conditions necessary for its payment. Now, notwithstanding the consent, notwithstanding the request or demand even by the employee, it will not override that legal uh, mandate, that legal directive or uh, obligation. So employers will not have any defense later on if the employee uh, changes tune or changes the story and then makes up a story that the employer was the one who denied the payout of the, uh, how to say this, the maternity leave. Okay, uh, these things happen. Uh, in the world of work and employment, it's very unpredictable. At times, you have a, an employee uh, who does not seem to have uh, bad motivations or ill motivations. And then suddenly, in a, some weird or strange, uh, how to say this, uh, change of fortune, change of events, the employee now manipulates the story, uh, uh, trying to get something out of it. From the employer trying to sometimes blackmail the employer in order to get a bigger amount or to, to receive a bigger settlement pay particularly if the employee is in bad need or needly uh badly needs cash okay um there are there it happens there, there are stories like that and of course there are, there there are stories that are really uh from the very beginning the uh employee already planned it so there was already bad faith there was a, an ill motive behind from behind the strategy from the very, very beginning and then the employer uh being nice being generous is being taken advantage of okay and because of that naivet, naivete or generosity or kind of heartedness the employer is uh how to say this um, betrayed by the by their trust uh, of that particular employee. So to avoid all of this scenario, this situation, the employer should just follow the law. The law states that if a pregnant woman employee applies for maternity leave and complies with all of these requirements, the employer has to advance the maternity leave, the cash equivalent of the maternity leave to that concerned employee. No questions, no buts, no ifs, no whens. Okay, so just do it. Do not anymore uh, try to be, I to say this, uh, extend your generosity too far, because again, um, that might bite you back uh, at the end of the day. Okay, so if you find this informational, instructive, or instructional, uh, feel free to subscribe uh, to follow or ring the bell to uh, be notified of new uh, content. And if you want to uh, join us in our membership, feel free to sign up at tableo.ph. And of course, we have this masterclass, a six-month program, wherein uh, students will be taught uh, 
labor law as how law students learn it in law schools. Okay, see you.